ahora tengo noticias. Entonces avísame cuando puedan venir a la oficina y tomamos una foto con sus este, tarjetas. Mi nombre es Jonathan Shah, soy abogado de inmigración. Sí, los, los Álvarez, la, la mamá de Jared. ¿Te acuerdas? Oh, es esta la real, ¿no? ¿Qué? ¿Por qué? Claro, son los racistas. Oh, ya lo encontramos. Ya, ya, Jared. Documentos que necesitamos de allá. Documentos originales, Jared. So. How did I? So, one podcast equals one DUI. Wait, 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 one DUI? Did we get a case? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we just got a... That's pretty cool. I didn't know that part of it. So we have that other YouTube channel for it. I just have to change the name for it. And it's only got 62 subscribers, but mine has 14,000 something subscribers. So I'm thinking about putting it on both, but then the little chopped up pieces on Instagram and TikTok, you know? In fact, we have these girls back there right now, these girls, these ladies back there, these clients who are deaf, and their one year oh. deadline is tomorrow. And so um, Chloe's back there working we'll on the one year when the, on the application with them, and she's got one of her monitors turned to her, and the other one turned to them, and she just writes to them what she needs to know, and then they write back, and then she does the same thing. It's kind of cool. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, this is something I do frequently throughout the week, as I do several live videos. Sometimes I do them with some news reporters. Um, this one I'm just going to do by myself, probably Instagram Live. And you know, I just set it up and open up the camera and then I start answering a bunch of questions. So maybe you can see a little bit of behind the scenes process for uh, my live videos. All uh, right, so start this live video. Let's see, I think I go here, slide it over. All right. Okay, live. Pueden compartir también este video en sus redes y estaremos de vuelta muy pronto. One of the things that's important about today is to get to the office and check on everybody. Every day I like to kind of make my rounds and go and check on the different teams, see how people are doing, and then also our remote team send them messages. Early on in my career, my favorite part was winning cases myself in court. And I still love to win today. Uh, we have a couple courts and yesterday we had a couple we won. But it's a different ball game for me now. What I'm doing mostly is helping train people to win cases, right? So trying to take whatever talents or skill sets that I have and set up a system where they can be trained and have the same success. And so for me, if, I, if I'm the one sitting in the courtroom and I win the case with my client, or if it's a different attorney or our team does a good job, to me it feels all the same, but we can help more people if we have a team trained to be effective and efficient in court to help people win. This is where we process all the mail. And today, we got two green cards. And these are people I know really well, so I'm gonna give them a call and let them know when they come in and we'll take a picture with them. It's kind of cool. Okay, so with the mail comes our work authorization. So you can see we always have lots of them coming in. It looks like we've got about 10 of them, seven or eight or nine or 10 of them today. And so we have several there. But then if you come over here, this is the, the other stack of work authorizations for people and so almost every day we have people coming in and signing for their work authorization and with that they get their social security number and get jobs in the United States and then also sometimes we get green cards and uh, you know people become permanent residents on their pathway to citizenship. Hola hermano, le tengo noticias. Entonces avísame cuando puedan venir a la oficina y tomamos una foto con sus este, tarjetas. 
All right, so what happens in this next part that you're about to see is interesting. Um, I've got these people I've been working with for a really long time to get them their green cards, and they waited 23 years to get their green cards. So they finally got them. We got some pictures, we got some video, but they asked us to keep their identity secret, not show it. Um, and that happens sometimes. Sometimes people who have been in the country for so long and finally get their residence or their citizenship or whatever it is, uh, for one reason or another, they decide not to share their identity. So we're going to respect their identity, but I also want to see, um, I want you to see the moment that we live together and it's why we do what we do. You know, it's an awesome moment. So I'd love to share it as much as possible with you. Uh, oh, dice, ya vamos en camino. Bueno, pero, este, muchas felicidades. ¿Cuántos años esperaron para su? 23 desde que llegamos a Estados Unidos. 23 años. Wow, that's crazy. Y no hubo ni, ni, ni entrevista ni nada, ¿no? Así es. Ah, pues que bueno, estamos súper felices. Podemos tomar la foto para eso y luego claro, seguir sí. adelante. Todos no, los paramos para que esto salga en la parte de atrás. Ajá. Okay. Y este, tomamos ahí la foto con su, con, con su residencia. Y está con la información. Sí, acá, aquí está. Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, Gracias. Bueno. Vamos aquí tantito para que... No hubieron esta oficina antes, ¿no? No, es la otra. Dime. All right, so that's what it's all about. Those people waited 23 years for their green card. 23 years of waiting for their family, not being able to buy houses, working, whatever. Now their lives have changed forever. That's what it's all about. 